Okay, this is Dragon of Eternity, and welcome back to Pokemon White! Now, in the last episode, we had finished up Route 18, we fought Bianca, and Golet evolved into Golik, so... This episode, we are going into what looks like a museum. A giant steel bridge towering over the road ahead. I get excited just looking at this model of the tube-line bridge. Slow down, Horndog. For anyone observe obsessed with railroads, especially trained phot photographers like me, the tuba line bridge in the anvil and anvil town are both perfect spots for taking pictures. I don't think I've actually been to Anvil Town during the weekend. How do I describe this? You know that vibration you feel on the soles of your feet when you're crossing the tuba line bridge? No. It's a coolest. Okay. Oh. Uh, I see, I see. Hey you! It's just my opinion, but it's best if you avoid this area on weekend evenings. The brats who live around here often get up to something stupid. That sounds like a challenge that I need to do. <laughs> yeah, maybe post game. Alright, so ah, uh, oh, I see that bastard in the background. Oh, y you! <laughs> I just want a duck to the karate chick. When I was running around trying to outrun the trains, I got overheated! Whew! Anyway, please take this. Flame charge. Okay. Yeah, no, Embor has that. Actually, can anyone else learn that? Before I encounter this ass hat. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where is it? Flame charge. Fifty, a hundred. No, nope, no one else can learn. Okay. Well, that's... Interesting. Okay, hi, Getsis. I was running towards you. You didn't have to send your goons after me. Dots. Dots, come. Dots. Getsis, he bought the one you wanted. Yes, we brought him forward ten bloody spaces. Excellent. It seems like you have obtained a dark stone. I congratulate you on a job well done. It is my lord N's fault that the two holders of the legendary Pokemon should put their beliefs on the line and strive to find out to find it which is the true hero. This is not necessary, however. From his infancy I provided him with the education required to become the hero of legend. Indeed he has been so acknowledged by the legendary Pokemon. Such purity of purpose as his. The liberation of Pokemon of which I, of which Team Plasma speaks, is the separation of Pokemon from foolish people. That's the truth. All trainers will become helpless to resist us. We alone will be able to use Pokemon. The preparations are complete. When my perfect plan is set in motion, first a few global trainers, Pokemon trainers, who are unable to re resist Team Plasma will release their Pokemon. Then that number will become a hundred, then a thousand! In no time, even the gym leaders and the champion will become unable to fight us. Having a Pokemon will be considered a bad thing. Even Pokemon like the sad... Even people like the sad little Bianca, whose Pokemon was stolen in Castelia, will be unable to face public opinion and release their Pokemon. Oh, please, I'm a geek. I don't care about public opinion. That's the kind of world we'll make. You may have the stone, but there's no chance whatsoever that the legendary Pokémon will accept you as the hero. So, if you are not willing to lend over your precious Pokémon, I suggest you search for some courage, because you're going to need it. So really all you did was gloat and taunt. Well, thank you for that. Hi. Phew, I tried a little too hard. I bought way too much at Shopping Mall 9. Route 9 has a... oh, I get it. Has a lot of trainers for such a short route. There is a place where people can ride. Similar people tend to gather. Oh, the Super Mall is on Route 9. Okay, I get it. The pitcher throws his first pitch! I get fling. What did you fling at me? 
I just threw a TM-56 bling. You throw an item to do damage to the target, and the damage changes depending on what you throw. And I believe if you have an iron orb, it does the most damage, but... Eh. Do you want to pass through here? Yes. Then you must be... Beat? Greet me! I have greeted you. Can I go now? Like a Philip. You have a Krokorok. I... Who was first in my body? Buta. Okay. I keep forgetting his bug. Good against uh, ground. It's neutral. Okay. But it was not very effective for a second. You know what? I guess I've had this conversation a few episodes ago. I probably have. Ugh. I just forget certain types against certain other types. It's just... I don't remember it. <laughs> Which is really sad, considering how much I play Pokemon. Yeah. What? You, what great strength do you have? Yes, yes I do. Hi. If I win, give me your Pokemon. No. Roughneck Reese. I was going to make a comment about something, but no. Her name is spelled with a C, right? I hope. Yeah, the female is Reese with, with a C, right? Should we check that person's name on Animal Crossing again? <laughs> Swords Dance! Um, oh. Nah. I'll be fine without it. Don't worry. I mean, it needs to be. I can always relearn it. Garbador! Kill it with fire. Oh, in my case, with an earthquake. Seriously, it's just... It's gross. There's not much I can say, it's just gross. That was just a joke, you didn't have to take it so seriously. Oh, really? Ugh. Now, you bold people give Saitama a bad name. Hey, hey, what have we here, boys? You have good Pokémon, let me see. Hey, hey, a bad one teamed up with no bad one. Do you know what that means? Double team? That means we are very bad! Okay... Scraggy and Scraggy. I was gonna say, maybe I should use Earthquake and Surf, but no, that would kill each other. Yeah... So a crunch on you, scissor on you. Actually, uh, oh crap, never mind. I was gonna say maybe I could have Big O, but he doesn't have levitate, does he? He can fly, but he can't dodge an earthquake. Well, actually, tell you what, I'll heal to on me, and uh, I will kill Scraggy. Sounds good. Sounds good. No, no fresh water. Lemonade! And kill the remaining Scraggy. Hopefully he can survive one hit of it. Maybe the high jump kick will miss. Causing him damage. That'd be lovely. No, he just saves the Buddha. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you two will survive. Right, crunch, and... Hang on, rocks be good against... No, I'm sure rocks aren't very effective against fighting. I just need a giant chart in front of me. <laughs> good, good Pokemon. What? How can bad men like us lose? Simple. Hey, so that just leaves you... and you. Lovely. Join our team! Actually, I forced you to join a team. I didn't heal my Pokémon. Nah, nah. Oh well. Right, so seeing as I'm single here... 
All out surf. Did I get waterfall? Um. Did I get waterfall? Oh, there we go. Gotta love when that messes on the opponent's side. Our team doesn't need a trainer who is quite that strong. Oh, thanks. Right, now for you. And then whatever's at the bottom of this. <laughs> Nobody can beat my speed and fury. I'm trying to think of a response to that, but I can't. And that's really sad to me. Yeah. I mean, which people are fast and furious. Well, the Flash is more of a jokester. I would say Saitama, but I already made that reference. Oh, you Nelly level 42. Nelly. Right, before I even touch this place. Where is it? There it is. And where is it? There it is. Right, let's get you up. Let's get you up. Everyone's only 42. Yay, then they just need to catch up the big O. Right, is there anything or anyone in this section? Oh god, there's that place down there. I remember that place down there. That was a, that's a doozy. That is a doozy for post game. Luckily, it's post game, so yeah. Fellow star, yay! Only strong Pokemon live in this cave. Champion occasionally goes in for training, but you aren't ready for this challenge. Because I need to be the champion, right? Uh, just for the sake of it, what are you? You are our Dino. You can give me a shit ton of XP, actually. I'll take it. Surf it to death. I should say surf, surf it to faint. Yeah. I don't really know what to say to this thing. <laughs> How come I always got the crits? When it would have been the killing blow anyway. It's just kind of annoying. It's just really kind of annoying. <laughs> right, so I have a little bit of time. Uh, shopping all nine. Colorful and wonderful. Might as well. It's so, hi. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get back here. There are even some people in the ball who will challenge you to battles. I'm saving this for next episode. Screw that. Now if I can get to the Pokemon Center, that would be lovely. Never mind. Hello, dragon. This way. Get us. What a liar. Desperately trying to con everyone for speech. That's correct. Our Lord N has combined his power with the legendary Dragon-type Pokémon, and intends to create a new world. We herald the return of the Hero of Nova, founder of this region. Hero? Dragon? Legend? Pokémon are different from people. Sven, don't you think I'm right? Oh god, not that song from Posen. <laughs> right. They are living beings who contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Well, unless you go for the game theory, people are Pokemon thing. They are beings like whose greatness we should acknowledge. Beings who should be freed from our oppression. Freed? Pokemon? We, Team Plasma, invite you to join us. We all want to create a new world where people and Pokemon are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now, please release your Pokemon. And so I end my plea to you today. Thank you, one and all, for your attention. Wait for that one guy. And off you go. Is it true? Have we been making Pokemon suffer? Hmm. Maybe we should release our Pokemon like Team Plasma says. No way! Our Pokemon will be lonely and sad. You sound like a cat person. 
What was that about? The speech was off the charts strange. The cooperation of people and Pokemon... I really hope I'm getting these two correct. Of people and Pokemon is how Nova came to exist to begin with. If a Pokemon... I'll just do a normal voice because I don't know who's talking. If a Pokemon really didn't want to do want anything to do with humans, it would simply leave. Capturing a Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you've captured its heart. Let's go, Dragon. It's been a while, I was in Draden. Oh, Miss Alda! And the guy who helped out that time. No oh, thanks. What's wrong? What does the wandering champion who left the Pokemon League need from us? Briefly, my request is this. Tell us about the legendary Dragon type Pokemon. Are you talking about Reshiram or Zekrom? What's his an interest? Moments ago, a troublemaker known as Gessus was here. He said a trainer named N has reawakened Reshiram. Yes. That trainer called N apparently told Dragon here to search for the other Dragon type Pokemon. Let me check that I have this straight. This N, or what have you, presumes to set up the two Dragon type Pokemon against each other in battle to test his convictions. Oh no! The Dragon type Pokemon get along so well! That's right, Iris. The ones who make Pokemon battle are the trainers. And so it's the trainers and the Pokemon can get. It's so the trainers and the Pokemon can get to know each other better. I'm going to the Pokemon League. No, I guess in this case I should say I'm returning to the Pokemon League. Of course I'll defeat N. I'll teach him about the beauty of this world where Pokemon and trainers live together in harmony. Also, Dragon, I'll await your arrival. Once you've obtained an Opelucid badge, come to the League. The Opelucid Gym is tough. Take care. Farewell. I'm counting on you, Drayden and Iris. Aw, oh, he's gone. Is he okay? You look kinda scary. Don't worry, Iris. He is the strongest trainer in all of Anova. Tell that to Cynthia. Well, Dragon, is it? Go to my home. As Zelda asked, I'll tell you everything I can about the legendary Dragon type Pokemon. Iris, child, please show the way. You bet! If it's Opelucid City, I can take you anywhere. Then take me to the Pokemon Center. As for the story of Reshiram and Zekrom, we'll tell you all we know about it. This way! I want to go to the Pokemon Center. It's right there! That way! Alright, I'll go with you in a second. Sheesh. Or should I say in a day? <laughs> okay, so with that view, I will end this episode. Yeah, this has been Dragon Over... Of... I've been saying the word Dragon too much. This has been Dragon of Eternity going through more Pokemon White in this episode. I got through the big bridge. I had gotten through Route 9. I decided to skip them all. And, yeah, we've now arrived in the Bullet City. We've got to talk to Iris. But before that, I think I'll go back to the mall next episode because I want to fully explore that. So, yeah, next episode we'll be exploring the mall. And if we have time, I guess we'll explore the rest of Opelucid City. So, yeah. And I guess with that, viewers, until next time.